guys ready to get this show started? All right, coming to the stage right now, your hosts, Nate Bargazzi, Brian Bates, Aaron Weber, and special guest, Mike Vecchione. Very nice. Mike Vecchione needs coffee. Uh, a little bit of diva. Got a problem. Thank you guys, uh, obviously, so much for coming out. This is very, very nice. It's uh, amazing to support y'all's show. Uh, and we're going to start off with, uh, first off, hello, folks. We love our solo stove. <laughs> Shop now and get up to 30% off fire pits all month long and use promo code Nate at checkpoint, checkout to get an extra $20 off plus a lifetime warranty and free 30-day returns. That is solostove.com, promo code Nate for $20 off. Also, uh, hello folks to our friends at Helix Sleep. Nervous about buying a mattress online? Don't be. Helix has over 12,000 five-star reviews. Their two-minute sleep quiz matches you with a mattress that is a perfect fit. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash Nate. Make every day feel like a getaway with incredible scents inspired by the great outdoors. Every man Jack uses responsibly made packaging and their products are all cruelty free. Every man Jack's men's care naturally der derived outdoor inspired. Look for them at Target, Walmart, Amazon, or everymanjack.com. I should say up top, there's a there's a woman on YouTube who seems very nice. Her name's Miss Karaoke. She comments on every episode. Big fan of the podcast. Hates my ad reads. I want to donate. I want to dedicate these ads to her. <laughs> Nate Land is brought to you by Athletic Greens. <laughs> Life is busy and your well-being is important. Athletic Greens makes it so easy to get the vitamins you need every day with just one scoop. Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Visit athleticgreens.com slash Nate for a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. This is athleticgreens.com slash Nate. And finally, Babbel, language for life. Right now, save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash Nate. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash Nate for up to 60% off your subscription. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's go, folks. Uh, thank you. Thank you for I know these, we have to read these ads, but you, look, every, when we read them, just always know y'all are supporting this. And support, supporting stuff that we're doing uh, farther along, like making Mike Vecchione special tomorrow night. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a big deal. We got a great special here at Zany's. And uh, please come to it, please guys, come if to you it. haven't already gotten your tickets, which are still available. Still available. <laughs> and even if you're hearing this Wednesday when it comes out, please, <laughs> please still come to it. And... That's, that's the most important thing, I think. Uh, but we're excited for that. I'm directing. I don't, Mike, when should I tell you I don't know how to direct? <laughs> when would you that. want to know that? Oh, yeah, it might be. Yeah, yeah it's Wednesday. I'll, Wednesday. I'll, I'll, I'll tell him that Wednesday. You're right. Okay, come it. Uh, look at that shirt. I know, that's awesome. That's so awesome. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got the Grammy. We're, we're, we're going to get a, we're gonna get a picture, I don't, you know, or something. We'll do it. We won't right. make you. I'm like, come get on the table. You know? Uh, <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's how, uh, again, all right. Let's get started with these comments uh, to get it going. North Ridge SB. Very funny episode. Aaron called uh, the filet of fish meat free. And Nate mm -hmm. acted like buy one, get one free margaritas is a better deal than half off margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> and in both instances, no one said a word. Par for the course for this hilarious podcast. Thank y'all for the laughs. I had a filet of fish last night. Really? Yeah. You went meat free, huh? But I'm, I went meat free. Uh, 
Yeah, because I was I'm trying to I'm still trying to eat better, but then when I get home it gets can get off the rails when I don't have my barber with me. <laughs> and so I was like, then I when I go off, I go off. And so I had number one little side side filet of fish. Nice. <laughs> you got the side sandwich. I got the side number sandwich. Number Big Mac meal with a filet of fish side sandwich. Side sandwich. You got it, dude. I went medium fries. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> he goes, You want large? I go, ah. And I, I, I let on enough that he typed, he put in large on the screen, and I got to medium. He had to change it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, but Half were, off margaritas is a better deal than buy one, get one. It's the same deal. Yeah. Well, if you're it's, only if you, drinking one. If you're only drinking one, then you only have to pay half price. If you only want one, then you pay normal price, and then you got an extra one. Yeah, but these everybody's an alcoholic. So. Right. <laughs> what about meat free? The Catholics don't think. Fish is meat? Fish, I don't know what yeah. fish is. I know it's, it's not meat. It's not, it's not a, meat. It's not a fruit. It's not a vegetable. It's not right. meat. So it's kind of its own thing. Yeah. All right. You're just hoping, like, Jesus hasn't heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what's that? What's that? He goes, we're eating fish. He goes, ah, dead. I mean, I never yeah. thought about, I should have said fish specifically. <laughs> Sarah... Uh, Chaya or Chia? Chia. Chia. Yeah. Right here. Look wow. at this. Oh, okay. oh, you know her. Wow, it's Nashville is small. Huh? <laughs> Nashville is small. Like, we know her. We know her. She's yeah, our cousin. Even, yeah. uh, Just kidding. I'm not a Catholic, is what she says, but when I was a baby and my parents wouldn't take me to be baptized by a priest, my devoutly Catholic uncle baptized me over his kitchen sink. <laughs> I'm interested in your official Catholic educated opinion on whether I could become Pope more than just theoretically. Uh, yeah. So would that count? I think the baptism might be valid. Where I think you're going to run into some trouble is uh, being a woman. I think uh, that, that might... Wow. <laughs> Let's... Wow. Shots fired, Aaron. I didn't make Women. the rules. That's not what you I said before, though. I don't know. <laughs> we don't do it. It's, right. it's Notre Dame, dude. Notre Dame makes the rules. <laughs> Um, you gotta be. You can't go there if you're a woman. That's Aaron. Go ahead, tell him. Uh, can't women are allowed to go to Notre Dame? Aaron, go ahead, uh, tell him. They've been around. They've had started allowing women in the 70s. Oh, that's cool. Been around for a while. Yeah, God. <laughs> Look, one day you get a right to vote, and y'all can change that. All right. Uh, <laughs> but if you are baptized, and yeah. uh, if your uncle did it, I think you could be pope. Even if it was over in You sink. said anyone could be if you're a baptized Catholic. That's over half the world That's population. Right. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about <laughs> I forgot about women. Do they really not let they don't let women? Nah. <laughs> yeah. There's someone's gonna get a hold of that. This new 2022, they're gonna get a hold of that real quick. And then that's gonna change. You're like, well, we've been doing it like this because of God and stuff, and they're like, doesn't matter. Even <laughs> you tell God we want women. <laughs> Isn't that how they baptize uh, people in Nashville in the kitchen sink? <laughs> <laughs> hill folk? He thinks we're all hill folk. All right? He comes from an uh, education background. Uh, the North. The North. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at Thank you. Uh, we, got we, some, go. we got some union folk here. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Is, isn't this y'all's times off? Uh, Mike's going to leave during the set for union hours. He goes, I got to leave. I can't work for some of this. <laughs> Courtney Pruitt whenever someone mentions Easter egg hunts I get an instant tension headache I went to a small church in San Diego and we wanted to put on an Easter fair for the local community I was in charge of the egg hunt and grossly underestimated the number of families who'd come there weren't enough eggs for all the kids and I'll never forget children and parents wandering around looking for eggs <laughs> when they'd all been snatched up in the first 30 seconds. <laughs> and I'll never forget how angry the parents were at the end. What a terrible way for a church to serve the community. I've never helped with an egg hunt since, and I never will. <laughs> this is survival of the fittest. It's yeah. the best. Should have let them know. Not everybody's going to get in heaven. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they, want a, they want a shot at it. Well, you got to earn it. You know what I mean? <laughs> It would have been better if she said that at the beginning. You just go, we don't have enough eggs, so yeah, right. these eggs are, you know. Very valuable. Something, prize, what's the, I don't know the word. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what I was trying to say. There's something I would have liked. Uh, Karian Nutson, right? 
K N U D S E N. Knutson? Knutson. Knutson? Carrion Knutson. We just had a squirrel attack our car wires as well. Ooh. Ooh. My dad is a mechanic and he said to use original scent Irish spring bars of soap. Put it in a sock and fasten it up underneath the car and it works. Oh, you okay. try that? Wow. I haven't yet, but I will. Uh, do Irish spring bar of soap. Put it in. It's always like so to much do that? extra stuff. Yeah. It's like you want it to be like, all right, just get soap, and you're like, all right, just throw it in the car or something. It's like, no, 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 no. You got to get a sock that you're fine getting rid of. <laughs> and then you got to fasten it up underneath the car. And Special I guess, scent, Irish speak? No, original scent. Do you have to then move it? Like you have to, before you go out there, get it out, and then always go back and forth? I don't. I don't know. I don't like, when everybody goes to your car, you got to... Un- <laughs> did you mind popping that tr- hood? And then you just untie your sock and soap. And what does it explain that? Everybody. What does it mean it works? It keeps the squirrels away? Yeah. Or they get poisoned when no, they eat it? No, it keeps them away. Oh. Yeah. And it gets yeah. clean. Because they, they, apparently squirrels are attacking her and... Bates's car on a regular basis. <laughs> no one else has heard any about this ever. But me and Carrie people, Ann, Carrie Ann and Bates have got a wild squirrel thing going on. <laughs> uh, Lauren Watson to get rid of the squirrels. There's more squirrel wow. stuff. Put a flashing radio clock out there and let it play 24 seven. We got rid of squirrels and garden critters this way. You can also sprinkle human hair and they smell it and stay away. Yeah. Keeps.com. Is that right? Keeps. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Brian can't afford it. No. You know? Like, he's like, I don't know. I can't just throw hair out there. I'd rather have the squirrels. Yeah. So, you say that stuff. Why that is works? it a radio clock? I don't what? know. Hair works? Yeah. To put human hair just. Is, wow. Is, it doesn't is, blow uh, away. Is Lauren here? Yeah. Lauren. Y'all know oh, okay. Lauren, dude? <laughs> All right. Y'all, y'all know all the you're like y'all didn't give them no one of them got tickets you're like uh yeah i don't know i mean the flashing red clock i think just i don't know is a, you know if you want to you know, put to plug it if in you're letting the squirrels know you're white trash <laughs> you're like uh well how are they going to know if i don't have a car out there you're like well put a yeah. flashing radio clock and let it play the whole time that kind of lets everybody know what's up at your house <laughs> Don't bother breaking in. There ain't much in here. We got our, we got the, our, all our expenses are out in the yard with our flashing radio clock that keeps the squirrels away. I just would like to, you to explain that to your neighbors. Is your alarm going off? Every, all right. Uh, everybody really bailed on me. Toward, I, was, I, was like, I was like, we're about to get on a run. And then everybody's like, that's enough. Mm-hmm. Melody Trippett. Is this you? Wow. All right, Melody. She, I, Mel, can I set this up? Melody's the one last week who booked the plane tickets and the, and, and the house, and then her boyfriend broke up with her. Oh, she yes. She come with her. Wait a second. He did? Uh-oh. There's a story to this. No. <laughs> well, he's here. He's here. Well, you can oh, he's oh, wow. here. The boyfriend's here. Wow. Tom. There's a new guy. Oh. <laughs> We're just piecing. What is this? The guiding light? Oh. Okay, the Nashville well. soap opera. <laughs> so what the, so. the comment says, my boyfriend and I got back together. He realized how amazing I am. Wow. So is oh, that yeah. the, that's the gist of it? What's that? That's the right, yes. Okay. Welcome go. back. Thank you. Congratulations. Welcome back. Congrats. We're big Melody fans, so we're glad you're back. <laughs> Don't blow this ever again. Yeah. <laughs> Just we were worried all last week. Didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> Melody, but he's sitting somewhere else because of the breakup. He's got to work his way back into your life. Is, oh. that, is it symbolic? You know, what's it, happening here? Because huh? it's a what? Is it symbolic? Oh, I don't know. Symbolism? I don't know. <laughs> like, can, we get, can we get somebody to look Mike, that up? trying to get you... <laughs> Mike, we're trying to get people to come to your show tomorrow night. Uh, <laughs> golly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, Melody, you're coming? 
Is oh, your guy yeah. coming too? All right. Is your guy coming too? Y'all can maybe do this afterwards. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Zoe, Zoe Louise Jackman. I have been dying to come see all three of y'all in person. And even though I live in D.C., I finally convinced a friend to come see the live podcast taping in Nashville. And then went online to buy tickets, and I literally bought the last one. So I'm coming alone. Is she here? Zoe's here? All right, Zoe. Please stay, tell away, stay away from her boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> stay away. Stay away. There's a guy that's 50-50 over here, and he's like, what's Zoe? He's like, well, let me hear what Zoe's talking about, you know? <laughs> Please tell the folks to be nice. So uh, be nice to me so I'm not some loser sitting in the corner. You're not. You're, we're, I'm, we're all alone. Mike's alone. Everybody's alone. <laughs> Mike's alone. We're all just a bunch alone. We're all a bunch of, you know, everybody's alone. We're all losers together. <laughs> that's what makes us great. Mm. Is we ain't better than anybody. Thank you for coming. I'm glad you came. Even though alone, that's the best time. To, that's the best way to go to stuff. I go to stuff alone all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a lot. Like yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. McDonald's? I, movies. I go McDonald's. McDonald's. They eat McDonald's alone in a parking lot. You know how many times I've done that? That's you're doing way better than that. <laughs> you just try to find a real far spot. Away from like everything, like in, and then someone parks next to you, and you, I mean, I get furious. <laughs> like you'd be like, dude, I'm in the middle of no. I found a mall. There's no one even this. And then they, I, people just want to park next to you, and they come up there, and you're like, I mean, I'm embarrassed about what's happening in here. I feel like you're just gonna get out of the car and look at my McDonald's and be like, Anna Flay of fish. And I'm like, well, <laughs> my friend just left. As I make up a story, I'm like, my friend just ran out. He came. And I, he said, give me a filet of fish. And I go, all right, you swear you're not going to leave? And then he left. Here we are. It's meatless. At least it's meatless. It's meatless. Yeah. I go, it's vegan. It's vegan. Yeah. Darja Pizzone. Darja Pizzone? P-I-S-O-N. That's a good guess. That's a good one. Uh, why is Aaron so freakishly good at ad reads? Aaron? Uh -huh. Tell that to Miss Karaoke on YouTube. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I'll tell you why. It's because I believe in the products. Yeah, that is a good one. Yeah. That's why. Aaron just, yeah, he's good at it. He, got, he went to college. I, I think, think there's that's just a... They, did they teach you that? Is there, that I Notre think Dame there's thing? just, a, in general, there's a low bar for reading out loud on the podcast. <laughs> so I think <laughs> <laughs> what happens is... <laughs> That could be very I, I, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You read with confidence. Well, I mean, it's a college education. You know? yeah, yeah, I think so. It's Notre Dame. They teach you stuff like that. During the uh, day. Yeah. You're, you're Notre Dame, y'all. What? During the day? I got, yeah, during the day I got my degree. Oh, here. oh yeah. Not at night school. Yeah. This is old night college over here. <laughs> we like to call it Twilight, the yeah. Twilight program. As it goes, you get a Subway sandwich at this window, grab your master's at the next. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Night College. <laughs> Tom uh, Seitz. Nate, can you explain how you produce and direct a comedy special? Seems like I would just keep a camera on the comedian show some people cracking up from time to time. <laughs> can the same special with different directors really look that different? Thanks for shedding light on comedy specials. Uh, I know. I don't think they can. <laughs> and that's why I volunteered my time so up. <laughs> There's more pressure on me than Mike. Yeah. Mike is doing me the favor because I don't know how to do directing. <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, let me do this. And I know he will be solid as a comic. So it's like, I can just hide and you'll be, you don't know that I'm not good. And we're doing it with another 800 pound gorilla, which is a great partner that we right. have. And they know what they're doing. So I do have someone with me. Yeah. I've asked a lot of questions. Like I, everybody I, we talk to, I'm like, just remember, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> so don't, you can tell me like, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, but I think we got a good idea. I think it would be opening. really great if in the middle of it, like 15 minutes in, I get rolling, get some momentum. You just come up on stage and go cut, cut, cut everything. <laughs> and then just smack yeah. me in the face. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm, like, go, yeah I'm like, Mike, what are we, what are you doing? Dude? That's what I should. I will do a lot of cutting tomorrow. I'm going to go cut, cut. Is Mike special is just someone else up there. Still call it Mike. Back I'm like, I halfway through it. I was like, this ain't, this guy's not going to resonate. And we got someone else in. Jared Robertson, just watched The Greatest Average American. I got to know who put syrup in the waffle maker. 
And I'll tell you who, Breakfast Bates over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's who did it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They probably could have guessed that. <laughs> Does it not make sense? <laughs> yeah. Once you die, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all all day long. It was, yeah. Doesn't he actually really... made me sound better than it really was. <laughs> yeah. It was worse than, yeah. I was trying to be like, you know, let's show a little class. Yeah. You know. There was a countdown clock, so I could see exactly when things were about to go bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just the line... <laughs> You know, like if all of us were in line behind Brian, we would all be like, you almost want to see it and you'd expect it. You're like, well, let's all go watch. But when people don't know, it's a lot. It's a lot for people. And then he just ruins everybody's breakfast for the rest of the day. Got down there early, he's got his little MTSU shirt on, shorts. <laughs> he's in clothes that you're like, did he sleep in them? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> Everything he said was true. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, that elevator opens, just like he's looking at the what's going on. Like he's never been in the lobby, but what's <laughs> happening down here? It's a little bit busier than I thought. Mm -hmm. uh, Cam, my doctor told me to strip and put down on a paper gown. Put while, on a paper gown. Oh, to put on a paper gown. <laughs> while I waited, I felt the need to make an adjustment. Forgetting the gown was paper, I ended up ripping a hole. In exactly the spot you're thinking. Oh, wow. <laughs> it made for an interesting conversation when the doctor came back in. By the way, I wasn't there for anything below the waist. Not sure where my <laughs> pants were off. Wow. That's uh, you and Cam. I know. I mean, Cam sent that yeah. in after I shared my story. Y'all are, they probably book y'all together. <laughs> like, they're just like, you don't want it spread out. You're like, can you go the day, like the day where this kind of stuff happens, you're like, I'd rather get it over with. Cam it's Cam was smart enough not to share his last name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is Cam here? Cam, are you here? No, I don't think he would no. let us know. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe it wasn't a doctor. Maybe it was like the janitor or something. Yeah. Or something. A janitor that... God, Mike. <laughs> All right, get, it, get it out now, Mike, for tomorrow. Get it out now. Uh, Julie. I always like the name Julie. I was always a big fan. Julie. <laughs> I was in throws. In the throws. In the throws. <laughs> he sounded like that was a city. Yeah. I was in... <laughs> well, this city would be called, I was in throws of childbirth at university. Like, that's all a place. <laughs> you were in throws, the place, that was the building she was at, in childbirth. I was in the, the throes of childbirth. That's in the heat of it, right? Yep, right. yep. <laughs> Right in the mix of it. When else would you use throws? Do you use it for other times? Throws of passion. Oh, and throws of passion. Hey, right. Yeah. Jay Cutler throws. He was in the throws. Yeah, why would you not say that's confusing? I was throwing in the throws of the childbirth at a university teaching hospital. I mean, this is like getting a discount. Like, that's like, I used to get my hair cut at one of those things. It was $5 that you let them try out on you. Yeah. And this sounds like where she was, you know, for birth, it's like a little bit cheaper. We see how it goes. <laughs> I was in the throes of a childbirth at a university teaching hospital. My doctor asked if some medical students could come, to a, come in to observe. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is a night <laughs> hospital. Uh, <laughs> thinking that they have to get experience somewhere, I agreed. With all of my parts on display, I came eye to eye with a guy who I had worked with in a supermarket <laughs> <laughs> two years earlier. Uh, I don't know which of us was more embarrassed. I mean, that's tough. Wow. You know, that's tough. You guys just go lane two. Little, uh, got a spill on lane five. Like a little, just a joke to break the tension. <laughs> Yeah, like, you he, have to say something. Yeah, yeah, paper yeah. or plastic. Go, I know, and they go, I know, paper or plastic. <laughs> he makes a joke. It's like, oh, you come a long way. You know? <laughs> both of you have. You both have come a long way. I never thought I'd be here, and I, didn't, I definitely didn't think you'd be there either. <laughs> that would be, they let, uh, doctors, they do that, where they let someone, they're like, will yeah. you come in and, like, you know, you mind taking a gant? I thought I had someone at a, where I went to my doctor. The Undertaker? Recently. No, well, The Undertaker. But then recently, and they were like, you mind us bringing, and they brought someone in. Where was that at? What was going on? I don't on? know. I don't know. Oh, I got an allergy test. 
because I was trying to get my allergies uh, to see if I was allergic to a cat. Found that out. Uh, never, never knew that. Do you have a cat? No, my parents did for quite a while though. Oh, yeah. uh, Fat cat. But this, I mean, this was all the age. No one even asked that. It was like, you just sneeze a lot. You're like, yeah, I got a kid that sneezes a bunch. No one ever thought, we never thought to like go, go to, why would I go to a doctor and see what you, you're like, he'll get, he'll get through it. Just wildly allergic to everything. We had no idea. Must be allergies. It's December 25th. Probably these allergies are getting crazy. <laughs> I mean, they didn't do any testing for any of this. Like allergies, you just didn't have. Did anybody have allergies when we were kids? I mean, y'all were, you know, you and you and Bates, y'all grew up in the 40s or something. What, <laughs> what would y'all do in your wagon? Would you be, would you know, like, smells like Iowa? You know, like you're like, I can uh -huh. feel it. The weed. It would just mean you can't go to the army. Oh, yeah. That's all it meant back then. We didn't have a, uh, I have, my daughter and I is a pediatrician. I didn't have a pediatrician growing up. The guy who delivered me was my doctor of my entire life. Oh, really? Even yeah. he yeah. saw it all the way through? All the way through. Yeah. We stick to our own. I kind of like that. Yeah. yeah. You have a doctor that goes, hey, welcome, and he it's goes, like, I'll see you. It's like Kramer's vet. Yeah. 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 I can carry a chicken yeah. and a goat. He would even do it when you were like in high school and stuff? All the way. All the way. So you're now? a dentist too? He's dead now. Oh, well, no. Yeah. <laughs> But if he was alive, I'd still be going to him. Yeah. He goes, every time you walk in, he goes, Phew. he turned off much different than I thought. He goes, what? <laughs> like it's a guy that uh -huh. sees you from the beginning. And he's just like, what happened, man? And I don't, I, Where I don't know if that was an age thing or a Lebanon thing. Uh, it's probably both. Yeah. So, did you have your doctor for the whole time? Pediatrician? Uh, no. Uh -uh. Did you have a pediatrician? We moved back and forth between Florida yeah. and Ohio, so different doctors. Your mom's here. Did, she, yeah. did he have a pediatrician? No? She right. can't hear. Uh, <laughs> she left a while. She already, she's like, she's I walked like, I her. I can't watch this. I walked her. My dad's here, but he wouldn't know if I had a pediatrician. So yeah. I have to ask my mom. Uh, Jesse Rothacker. Our, Jesse. This is you. Jesse. All right. Finally got you. This whole table. We just took. Yeah. Kept trying. If y'all want to get comments, I'd talk to these people. They figured out a way. Uh, Jesse Rothacker, our reptile rescue was just asked to take in a bearded dragon that has been diagnosed with genetic gout. Wow. Aaron, we were told she will, she will have a swollen foot and need gout medicine for the rest of her life. Would Aaron be, would Aaron be interested in adopting a pet bearded dragon with type one? It's not the urn kind. <laughs> <laughs> type one genetic gout. Aaron? Do you want a bearded dragon? Is, the yeah, bearded yeah. dragon is here. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it's smart to have two gout things in the same house. <laughs> Plus, if I feel like if I had a pet that had it genetically, it would hold it over my head. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I brought it on myself. Yeah, like, you, yeah, like you've, you've done bad. And he's like, look, man, I wish I didn't have to live like this, but I have to. And his beard is better than yours? Yeah. Like, uh, probably. And you're like, oh, my probably. gosh. She's just running in the room. Here's you coming in. Every time that the water, you walk in, that water, like uh, Jurassic Park. <laughs> and he's like, he just kind of gets up and gets in his bathrobe and gets something to drink. Well, you woke me up. I heard you stomping around. Heard that gout foot drag and just hearing it just drag. You can't get it up, so it just drags on the. All right. Uh, Helix, Helix sleep mattress. Uh, we love our Helix. Like we always said, it was the greatest thing to unbox. It's the most fun. It truly is fun. It just pops out. Everybody's slept on it. We've all loved it. Uh, Helix sleep has a quick, uh, as a quiz. It takes two minutes just complete and match your body type, sleep preference to your perfect mattress. Uh, everybody is unique and Helix knows that so they have several different mattress models to choose from they have soft, medium, and firm mattresses mattresses is great for cooling you down if you sleep hot Aaron and <laughs> mattresses great for spinal alignment feels like you babes. Yeah, yeah, it could help you out uh, if you're looking for a mattress take the quiz you order the mattress that you are matched to and the mattress comes right to your door shipped for free try it out for 100 nights risk free 
Helix was awarded the number one best overall mattress pick of 2020 and by GQ and Wired Magazine. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash Nate. That's up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows at helixsleep.com slash Nate. Also, uh, Solo Stove. Spring is here. Enjoying your Solo Stove outside. You need it now because it's like 50 outside. And it's even more fun. You got you take it out. It's very easy to do. We do it. My neighbor got my heat neighbor. Felix has one now. We plop it out there, put it in. Fire is awesome. Uh, it's been better than any fire pit. No smoke. That's the, I, I can't even tell you how much that matters. Not smelling like smoke. It's the greatest thing. It, it's enough to, I won't do a fire. People ask me to come and I go to campfire and I go, it's a whole <laughs> I gotta throw those clothes away. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm gonna smell like it for the rest of my life. I don't enjoy that. Well, Solo Stove's got the answer to that. Shop now and get up to 30% off fire pits all month long and use promo code Nate at checkout to get an extra $20 off plus a lifetime warranty and free 30 day returns. Just go to solostove.com and remember you get $20 off when you use promo code Nate. We spend a lot of time thinking about what we put in our bodies, but what you put on your body is just as important. Every Man Jack's men's care products use the best ingredients nature has to offer. Your skin will thank you. Mm. Every Man Jack has changed my life. <laughs> it has. <laughs> I feel more confident. Remember that joke I made about Nate last week at the Grammys? Yeah. I wouldn't have had the confidence before to do that. Yeah. yeah. Every Man go. Jack, I feel great. I smell, smell me. Yeah. I smell yeah. great, right? Smell great. I smell great. It's got all kinds of products, body wash, deodorant, skin care. My favorite. Oh, yeah. The Captain Marvel body wash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, I like to, in the shower, pretend like I'm Captain America. And it makes me feel my muscles are big. Yeah. My if, wife, they, if, you, if you walked in the shower and Bates had that, you'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like you're, you're when like, we have neighbors come over, they say, do y'all have two kids? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Like a seven-year-old no, they go, boy no, that's as well. Bates, and they go, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. man, yeah. Uh, yeah, but they do. They have Captain. Mar- they have Spider-Man. If you like him, Black Panther. So we're open-minded here. Yeah. We have all types. Uh, 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 <laughs> what? I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Without any of the harsh chemicals. And dyes, they can be a grace of your skin and leave it feeling dry. They use as many clean, naturally derived ingredients as possible. Every Man Jack uses responsibly made packages. Every Man Jack's men's care, naturally derived, outdoor inspired. Look for them at Target, Walmart, Amazon, or everymanjack.com. I like that they have, you said like Spider Man, where you're like, you know, if you guys are into that, you've heard of <laughs> Spider Man before, but they have that. Well, I had a hard time deciding which one to go with. Yeah, that would be tough. Yeah. <laughs> Captain America is good. Oh, you know what I did not have a hard time designing to go with? Athletic greens. Yeah. And we use it every day. We all started taking athletic greens because none of us eat very well, but we are all looking for simple ways to try to get more healthy. We're all trying to cheat the system. We're trying to do as little work as possible. And this is how you do it. It's a great start to the morning. The taste is great. It's easy to make. Drink quickly. One scoop of powder with water. You shake it. You drink it. They got travel packs, which are great for any of us on the road. You pour it into a bottle of water, and you don't have to eat anything healthy the rest of the day. Yeah. <laughs> I should clarify, it does not say that on here. But right now, it is time to reclaim your health like I did and help your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. One scoop of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills, bottles to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is giving you a one-year free supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you got to do is go to athleticgreens.com slash Nate. That is athleticgreens.com slash Nate to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, Nate Land is brought to you by Babbel. I mentioned a few months ago that I was learning Russian, and that did not age too great. (laughs) I mean, it was like a week later, things started getting rough over there. But maybe it's more important now than ever to understand what they're saying. Yeah. So, 
Babbel is a language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. There's a fun and easy way to learn a new language. They're bite-sized lessons. That's what's fun about it. It's like a book with short chapters. You know, you feel like you're cruising through it. You're only like, you know, a few pages in, but you're four chapters deep. So you feel like you're really crushing it. Uh, everyone else uses AI, Babbel's real people that speak the language, Babbel's speech recognition technology. You can talk to it. It'll tell you if your accent's stupid. It'll tell you if you're pronouncing it wrong, which is, I, I need to take the English one. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash Nate. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash Nate for 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> All right. A little nod, Aaron. I mean, just... There it is. You're like uh, the Micro Machine Man. Like, you know, he was... I mean, you can't... You're not that you're talking that fast, but everybody liked his commercial. Who? Maybe, the who? You the say the Micro Michelin Machine? Man? Wasn't it Micro Machine? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, though. He would talk real fast. I thought you said the Michelin Man. I was like, that's <laughs> a lot less compliment. No, yeah. Okay. No, you look like that. You don't sound like that. Uh, <laughs> so today, uh, we're trying to pick a fun one, and we found out Earth Day is Friday. So uh, we're going to talk about the Earth. There's a good chance we've talked about the Earth. Well, we've talked about oceans. We've yeah, talked yeah. about... Most, a lot of the Earth. Parts of the Earth. 70% right. of it, yeah. But we never really talked about Earth. We're talking know? about the dry part tonight. Huh? We're going to talk about the dry part this time. Oh, the dry. Tonight's all about the dry part of the Earth. <laughs> Mike, you know anything about the Earth? I know the crust, and yep. I know the mantle. Yep. And then I know the core. Yep. So. That's right. That's called Earth science. That's called Earth science, guys. That's Earth, as far ooh. as I got. No chemistry. Uh -huh. Only Earth science. Earth science. That's cool, man. But it's cool. Rocks way to go, jocks. Mike. Way to go. <laughs> That's impressive. How, they probably didn't even know that much stuff when you were in school yet. Uh, you're gonna be like, "What's these clouds everybody's talking about?" You're like, well, those came along later. <laughs> it is funny. We started with Rhode Island, and th and then we did two episodes on the universe, and then we were like, "Let's back up a little bit." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to Earth. We got too far out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's really I like how you guys intro it. You go. We found out it was Earth Day coming up pretty soon <laughs> yeah it's like really well we you, have we have a team of people yeah <laughs> that are looking for things are you a big earth go, day guy mike you celebrate earth day every year i haven't no i've been missing it okay. you missing yeah. it like you don't even missing know earth it's day. here i don't it's a big we should celebrate it probably more than we do right yep. it's the main thing and <laughs> We do well, kind of breeze by it, and you're like, well, we're all on Earth. But can so I de defend myself? Because I'm being attacked a little bit here. All right. Um, I live in New York City, and it's like you're not very in touch with nature. You live there. Yeah. You're walking down. It's mostly buildings. You can get lost in the urban scenery there. Yeah, yeah. The, the, New York City, the thing that would probably kill Earth. So... <laughs> The cities, most amount of people. Cities cover just 3% of the Earth's surface. Who? Cities. Yeah. Cities cover just 3%. 3%, yep. so we're not there the we problem. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are two of that 3%. Uh, <laughs> you guys know we don't know who named the Earth. Oh. All the right. other planets in the solar system are named after a Greek or Roman god. Earth? No, not no. so much. Just Earth. Just Earth. Yeah. Just. No one even knows who said it first? Nope. Nope. I mean, it's a, it's a word that means dirt, but uh, we don't know who came up with it. So we were wow. using earth before we even... Was it like we're, we're just saying earth and we're digging dirt, and then it's like, we might as well just call the whole thing. <laughs> There's a lot of dirt, yeah. so why not? Yeah. Maybe so, but we don't know who said it first. Uh, good, good, scientists you say... You know? No. No. There was nobody. So no one knows... History. God called it earth. He goes, welcome to Earth. We're like, all right, we're going to go with that, man. And he's like, yeah, yeah, feel free. He goes, do you mind if we say that? He goes, no, 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 no. That's why I said it. I want you all to use it. <laughs> Bates, what kind of word is it? Maybe we can, maybe we can detect he it through this. It, it, uh, it comes from Old English and High Germanic. That way, the Germans. Yeah, the you Germans. don't want to ask any questions. With them. Yeah. <laughs> yep. uh, Earth is 4.5 billion years old. There we go. Give or take. Yeah. 99.9% <laughs> um, .9 of all the species on Earth are now extinct. Oh, really? Wow. They've ever existed. Yeah. I, where is that coming from? But Just we're all here. Guy. How many yeah. different things were there? 
Well, that that's a long be. time, huh? That's a long time. Four point. Yeah. yeah, but what is the other thing? Like it's like dinosaurs and stuff. Like we plants. We all, I feel like every stat acts like humans are just pointless. Like they're like y'all are just nothing. You just shouldn't even be. Here. You're like, well, we're doing pretty good. All yeah. right. And I think we're doing better than all the other things that didn't make it. <laughs> so why don't we? You know what? Right. Ninety uh, percent are dumb, and we're the smart one percent. We should be more proud of ourselves. Well, we're acting like a stegosaurus is like, yeah, you'd be lucky to be him. You'd be lucky to be a stegosaurus. <laughs> Homo sapiens have been around for 450,000 years. Yeah. That's, so that's one ten thousandth the age of the planet. Huh? That's, that's one in one ten. Yeah. ten one ten that thousand. just shot your theory down, Nate. We're not doing that good, actually. We're not? No. Yeah, but that, that plant, Earth was a mess back then. Yeah. <laughs> it was a, just a big problem. We came in and cleaned it up. I mean, we're doing pretty good, dude. <laughs> I don't think dinosaurs had podcasts and stuff. Like, they didn't, <laughs> you know, they weren't entertaining. It was all business. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everything was like, I'm trying to eat, and they got to eat, and then the cavemen were trying to eat. Right. Like, no one was like, let's have some fun, you know. <laughs> we, have so, we have so much fun now. Researchers at uh, Liverpool John Moore University in the UK say that dinosaurs may have changed the climate with their farts. Yeah. That's like, where's that at? What school's that? <laughs> Liverpool John Moore's University in the UK. What is it? It's like wow. a community college over there. <laughs> That's it. We don't know. Yeah, That's yeah. how we don't know. I, if I go over there, I go into Volunteer State Community College. You'd be like, whoa. <laughs> That's crazy. You know? And uh, that's their version. That was the doctor, or I think it's a doctor. doctor it's a guy. Said that. Doctor said that. <laughs> that guy's a doctor. His name's David Wilkinson. And he just said that? Yeah, he said they put out 520 million tons per year of methane, which is as much as we're putting out now. What is that even? Well, wouldn't that be awesome if farts yeah. changed the climate? I would go, well, for that guy, I would go, but could you do more science stuff, man? You keep doing, going down this other path. It's like a guy that's not good at his job. Like he goes, yeah, but you know the farts of dinosaurs? And you're like, dude, we're trying to do like cancer and stuff. So <laughs> like you keep coming in with just this pointless, like I don't even know how to see if that's correct. <laughs> that guy, the that amount guy. of manpower that would take to go even be like, I guess so. It already happened. <laughs> the guy comes in and goes, pull my finger. Yeah. Pull my finger. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Earth is not a perfect sphere. It actually bulges out at the equators. It's flat. Fat. What? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's how it the gets. The Earth it. is fat. Yeah. Oh, the Earth is fat. I yeah. like that. Yeah. What did that's what flat earthers should say? They go, no, I've been saying fat. The Earth is fat. <laughs> fat earthers. And then everybody's like, oh, I guess so. And yeah. you go, yeah, we could lose a little. You know what yeah. I mean? It's earned. It's an earned fat. Yeah. Do you know that if you shrunk the earth down to the size of a pool ball, it would be smoother than a pool ball? But, I mean, you can fly through it, so. What? <laughs> well, stuff comes through. You can't, you can't get in a pool ball. I'm saying it's, that's so smooth. But, you, but if you, a uh, comet flew down to that pool ball, it would hit it and, and bounce off. Where earth is going to come through. So there's no way for it to be smooth because it's, you can fly through it. We're going in and out of it. I think this makes a ton of sense. All right. I learned that at Volunteer State. <laughs> liver at uh, Liverpool. That? Liverpool. A v Vietnam veteran? Yeah, Vietnam veteran. Volunteer State Vietnam's veteran. I went there. And you'd be like, whoa, how'd you go there? You're like, well, it's a family thing. Only, they only let families in. I was a legacy. Yeah. I was a legacy. <laughs> The circumference of the Earth is 24,000 miles, meaning if you went all the way around it, it would be 24,000 miles. Okay. And um, <laughs> <Mr>. <laughs> That's so great, Bates. You're spoon-feeding cir circumference yeah. to yeah. us. Yeah. All the way around? I don't think he's doing it to us. I think he's doing it to me. He looked right <laughs> in my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> he could have whispered it off the mic a little bit. It could have just been like, just a round of the, you know. <laughs> So it's 24,000 miles around. It takes 24 hours in a day for it to do one spin. Mm -hmm. So how fast is their spin? 1,000 miles. That's right. 1,000 miles an hour. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 
I'm good at math. I'm good at math. At the equator, if it's the North Pole, it's barely spinning at all. Okay. It's just like a basketball. <laughs> if you spun a basketball on your finger, yeah. the sides would be spinning very fast, the top barely at all. Yeah, but nobody cares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said nobody cares. But, but it's, yeah, but it's still spinning. It's just because you're at the top. That's right. Yeah. And you'd like wouldn't have to dance around as much. Like right. it's a longer way to run. So what bottom. is that? The North Pole? The yeah. North Pole? That's the North, yeah. Pole. North Pole and South Pole. All right. Yep. What's the circumference again? 24,000 miles. Yeah, it's 673 Rhode Islands. Oh, wow. Just to yeah. put that in context. Yeah. I think that helps a lot. Mm. And the, the planet's going 67,000 miles an hour around the sun. Oh. So we're moving funny. pretty fast right now. We're moving. Wow. Everything's moving. We all end up in the same spot. Yeah. Well, luckily, we all just, well, we keep coming around. It's all really working out right now. <laughs> Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Everything's just kind of like let's not don't blow up any. Let's not bother anything. We're all doing good. <laughs> you watch any like thing, and they're like, if we get one millimeter off the sun, we just all die immediately. <laughs> like if they're like I watched like, those videos of like what could happen, and that's like the sun flare is the main thing. Yeah, they go that could be bad. And that's like if the sun just gets axed up one day. Yeah, and then doesn't do what it's supposed to do. We're just gone. <laughs> And there's nothing you can do about it. You just you just are gone, and we go. Rhode Island's only 43 miles wide. 37 oh. miles across, depending on where you look at it. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh. You got challenge. Oh. Real, oh. yeah. come on, dude. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Getting technical. <laughs> you go. Yeah. I guess the part that you lived in, but <laughs> where I lived, we could, it was a little bit quicker. We had a bridge. <laughs> Uh, the g- he may be right. I, I'll be honest. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sticking to my guns, though, at 37. Gravity is stronger at the poles than it is the equator, so you weigh more in New York City than you do in Nashville. Oh, that's cool, Mike. That's obvious, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike's been cutting weight for this special. He got down here. You're like, well, what are you going to do now, dude? Yeah. I wear a helmet. Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> It's very minimal. If you weigh 200 pounds at the North Pole, you'd weigh 198 pounds at the equator. Well, that's pretty big. That's two pounds. Wow. Yeah, Sometimes for, that's a lot. Yeah, New York to Nashville, probably a little less. So than if you that. go up to, so if we go to the North Pole, I'll be two pounds less than you were if you were at the equator. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you're spending time, like if you vacation, if yeah. you're like, I'm a North Pole and equator person. <laughs> You're just constantly like, how's your weight? You're like, up and down. What's up and down? <laughs> do you do anything? You're like, no, no, I, same diet. So we've talked about Pangea on the podcast before, yeah. where it was one big supercontinent. Yeah. That broke apart. Before that, it was Rodinia. I think you got to talk more directly into that microphone. Talk more directly? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because you can hear better. You're like wandering off, read, like maybe put on. You know. Put them in front of me more? Yeah, yeah. Just do a better way, you know? Uh, <laughs> this is, Nate, all, all this like, is Nate directing. I know. <laughs> yeah. He's directing the podcast right now. <laughs> Thank you. Boom. boom. Oh, boom. There you go. I like that. Nate, you got to do it, Nate's even though he made fun of you. My yeah. <laughs> well, you're just reading off, because that's why the trouble is hearing you. you read, you're like, uh, so... <laughs> Get, and you read it and you come back to it go does that make sense you're like well, I didn't hear where'd you go I apologize should we start over yeah let's do it again dinosaur uh-huh. farts they are uh-huh. <laughs> so Rodinia the, all the continents broke apart then they came back together and they crashed and they formed the mountains like the Appalachian Mountains they kind of pressed them together yeah so yeah. glad you heard that right yeah. I mean, that's just, you know, oh, that's how those mountains got there. <laughs> Is it just those mountains? I'm sure other mountains. There's a right. few others here, but. And you, uh, would, you wouldn't go with like just big, like Mount Everest or something, like, you know, like yeah. a bigger mountain. You're like, you do Appalachian. The yeah. Appalachians like, you know, used to be the biggest in the world. When? Way back. Way back. What about the Alps? Isn't the Alps? I was always thought the Alps were. The big Alps deal. are bigger now, but this yeah. is way, way back. The Ap- the Appalachians used to be the. Well, biggest. that's like right. everything was the, bigger. Like you could say every part of Earth was bigger at some point, and then as it it got more. I mean, the Appalachian Mountains are they, are they even on the radar of biggest mountains? Look, they're top ten probably right of now, tallest? but they were they of tallest. Uh, yeah, really? but they were Smoky number mountains. one. Oh, really? They used to be number one. Wow. When? 
I'm talking years ago. I'm talking yeah. like is years ago 1700 or is are you talking about like the 40s? I'm 2014. talking probably back in uh, Rodanian times. Mm. Oh, like 800 million years ago. Yeah, I'm talking. A That's long a you, that you don't say years ago to 800 million years ago. You don't go. No, no, no. You guys are way off. This was years, a few years before that. Yeah. Whatever you think. 800 million. Oh, so the beginning of Earth, dude? Yeah, like, yeah. that's when... I don't know if I believe you're right. <laughs> so where was Mount Everest? It just wasn't there yet? No. It's erosion, Nate. Uh-huh. Erosion. That's where that mountain kiss... Anytime no. somebody says something about mountains that you don't understand, you just go, erosion. Erosion. The plates... <laughs> yeah. It's the plates hadn't been pushed into each other to create yeah. Mount Everest yet. Yeah. Yeah. That happens at... It's just Mount Everest is younger so, than the... Younger. No one was here... And then they just timed it out, and they said, "Well, Appalachian Mountains, <laughs> they were fr- they beat it, they beat it first. So then they just look at it and they go, "Well, that was so much faster." <laughs> and then they go to Mount Everest, and like that was that took forever. Yeah. It's almost not even impressive. Right, right. Yeah. Like if someone's like, "I climbed Mount Everest," you're like, "Who the slowest one to get to the top?" <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, you Appalach- you call us Appalachian people, hill folk, but hill folk. We were yeah. the first ones, but we were the tallest. Hill you guys folk. were the biggest. We were the biggest. Um, Europe is gradually moving away from North America. Thank get God. That. They've been doing that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they hate us? <laughs> yeah. Uh, one Europe's po- the place where everybody, like, that would be, I remember living in New York because I was like, well, you know, in Europe, they do, you're like, well, I don't even care about Europe. <laughs> you know, well, in Europe, that's not how they do it. Okay, well, we're here. <laughs> so it's moving uh, 1.1 inch a year. Do you think it's because of Meghan Markle? Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. I think it sped up. I think it was less than that. And then it, once she... <laughs> <laughs> it's moving at the same rate as your fingernails grow. <laughs> oh. Well, I have to cut my fingernails all the time. <laughs> so, it's I quite mean, a bit, it's going right? to be, how long, of, it's getting farther and further. You're, I mean, do we have enough fuel to land? If you flew from New York to London now, it's 3,400 miles. In 5 million years, it's 3,500 miles. <laughs> it's it's going to be a while. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But days are getting longer because the earth is not spinning as fast as it once was. Because it's fat. <laughs> it's getting tired. It's just getting, it's yeah, it's just tired. getting tired. It's getting hard. He's just like, I can't do it anymore. Like, he's just, <laughs> how many more times do you want me to go around? <laughs> Y'all don't even know where my name came from. So, how about you throw me some decency and tell me where my name came from? And you're like, we don't know. You're just fat. He's like, I feel so heavy. Yeah. All the people are on me, just weighing me down. <laughs> I think the Earth has low self-esteem. I think I the Earth does too. And you're doing <laughs> great, buddy. <laughs> uh, 4.5 billion years ago, the, a day on Earth was six hours long. Okay. Now it's 24 hours. It's increasing 1.7 millisecond every century. <laughs> wow. I mean, who even? But that's like you could just say this stuff. Like it doesn't. Yeah. It's all. That's the thing. Science is always just something that you're like, you're never be able to know. Like the Appalachian Mountain thing, you're like 800 million years ago. You're like, okay, all right. It's like how to win an argument. That's what science, <laughs> like, uh-huh. that's what science is just, it wins. You're like, how do you know it was taller? Well, I don't think you're right. Well, it was 800 million years ago. All right, well, I guess you win because I can't, I'm not going to find that out. So. <laughs> so we hit our first billion people on earth in 1803. Oh, wow. We were up to... Oh, wow. In 1803? Yeah. Yeah. We're up to 4 billion by 1975. Wow. We should hit 8 billion by the end of this year, early next year. Wow. That's, that, that, wow. that escalated quick. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, do you miss a billion? <laughs> <laughs> were you like, it was freer back then, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's actually slowing down, though, the, the birth rate slowing down. They think it'll peak at year 2100. Yeah, but isn't it slowing down in some parts, but then other parts it's exploding? I mean, I hate to take issue with you. <laughs> yeah. I know this isn't a fact-based podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Well, according to this... Uh, 
<laughs> According to the sheet of paper. Where's, where is it speeding up? <laughs> oh, it might be speeding up in like uh, Indonesia. No. They're, yeah. they're like a sleeper country that's exploding with population. Oh. I mean, China's the obvious, but Indonesia is like the fourth biggest. Yeah. Yeah. And we're like, I think we're holding steady. Europe is down. Russia is, I think, holding steady. You keep an eye on these yeah. stats. I, I keep an eye on them. I was like, find out where we are. Yeah, what do, you, do you get a newsletter? Yeah. You get like, it's like someone that buy one of those college magazines at the, at the airport. That's like, what was the old Vandy's doing I'm worried I'm going to have nobody to fist pound in the future. Yeah. Because you don't have enough people. That was pretty Well, you're solid. doing you your part by not... You're doing your part by not having children. So... <laughs> Bates had a kid. Uh, <laughs> yes. I congratulated him. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is the reason women are having fewer children. Uh, yeah. In 19... Oh, dead what? gum women. <laughs> you know? Uh, again, yeah. look at these women. You ain't having kids. I know. Yeah. That's why it's they like, can't be both. Like, you know what I mean? That's, yeah. <laughs> that's not a very against women, just the way it was worded. Well, these women won't have children anymore. <laughs> You're like, golly. They want to work now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't. Do they? Yeah. Do you guys want to work? It's gonna be. It's like that Bill Burr joke where you start leaning away from Brian. And you're like, he's, he's gonna get. He'll get canceled. You know. <laughs> In 1950, women were having on average 4.7 children. Wow. Somebody said, ugh. Now they're having 2.4 on average. Okay. If it drops below 2.1, the world population starts going down. Okay. All right. You would think it would be two because two parents, yeah. two kids, but there's slightly more men than women in the world. So. Okay. So. We're, so we're down. doing a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. So if there was a war, we got a little of it. <laughs> with another planet? No, with no, with women. women. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It feels like we're going to be pretty soon if we yeah. keep talking this way. Yeah. <laughs> but people are getting older. Uh, in 1990, there were 95,000 centurions. What was that? That's 100. Oh, 100. Yep. By 2015, there were 450,000. And by 2100, there'll be 25 million. Oh, my God. 100s? Yeah. People, 100 people that are 100 old. Yeah. There'll be 25 million of them? Yep. All right. Yep. So what are they like? Well, we halfway is, there, buddy. Yeah. Stem cell. What are they? Stem cell. Stem, stem cell. cell it up. Yeah. Stem cell it up, dog. <laughs> stem so cell. you're just saying like there'd be way more older people. Yep. Uh, yeah. so way dry. fewer kids, but a way more older people. Yeah. So uh, driving, my generation driving. Yeah. Driving is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be just the left, uh, the right lane is just packed shoulder to shoulder. How about the weather channel is going to be killing it though? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hey, man, my sweater yeah <laughs> the ratings are through that you're gonna be like i want to get a show on the weather channel i mean they're they got they're crushing it right now dude yeah. <laughs> a lot more ramps you just see ramps <laughs> way, like you're seeing them everywhere you know they're around now but you're like you're like, it's aggressive. How many like, stairs are almost not even out? Yeah, there'd anymore. be no steps. <laughs> no <there's> steps. <laughs> the guy who made stairs is like, I couldn't even keep up. It was not worth it. I was losing money. So I just went into the ramp business. And how about prescriptions it's... will be everywhere? Oh, I mean, pharmacies are just through 24. Boom. They have to be open 24 hours. <laughs> they got a rush at 6 a.m. is just when the hundreds come in. <laughs> We were at Detroit, we were in that MGM um, casino, and there was a sign, literally, we walked in, it goes, casino this way, prescriptions that way. <laughs> oh, Absolutely, yeah, the, that was real. The, yeah, that was real. In the casino, they, in know, the casino. they know the fan base. Yeah. <laughs> they know who's to, coming in here. Did you have to watch people make a decision in that moment? <laughs> like, yeah. They have their money, they're like, which way is this week gonna go, yeah. right? <laughs> we saw, they saw, old. they would walk in, they go, I hope, Let's see how it goes. They go that way. They go, Either way, oh, they're gambling. I might be there. I don't know. I'm gonna see. Our CVS just announced they're closing, and my father-in-law was furious. Did they? Uh, did they come out in front of the store and announce it? Did they? They said. Did us, they go? We are closing. <laughs> Where did they announce it at? They sent us an email and a text. Y'all, y'all talk to CVS that much? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they gotta, they gotta let it, you know, like we send us, let's let our core group know <laughs> that we're not gonna be here anymore. I ruined his Easter. He ruined my Easter. Yeah. What do you gotta do? You gotta go to Walgreens across the street. Well, we're now? debating yeah. that. We had a we had a long discussion over Easter. Which pharmacy to go to next? Yeah. <laughs> the Walgreens on White Bridge Road. The parking's not that good, so I don't know. Drive through. Where are you gonna go? Publix or go to a grocery store? Well, we talked about that. We got our we got our flu shot at Publix. <laughs> well, let us keep us posted and let us know where. <laughs> you know, we'd like to heads up to be it, like, what what did we I decide know. on? It closes the end of the month, so we don't have much time. Oh my gosh. Y'all better get them in. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I did that today. Could, called call him those subscriptions one last yeah. time. Prescription, excuse me. Prescription. Just sitting there. Hello. Brian Bates. I need it all. <laughs> Load me up. <laughs> uh, the moon is also drifting away from us. Yeah, it always has. <laughs> It, the moon feels sad, like you're like, it wants to leave. Yeah. And you're like, come on, man. That's when the full moon comes in. He goes, dude, we like you. And he pops out, and then he gets sad again. And you see just part of it. And he's like, they don't like me down there. <laughs> Those he clouds. comes out during the day just being like, hey, everybody. Like, just trying to, I'm here, remember? <laughs> I saw it today, I think. Yeah, the moon. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I think I did, but it was really cloudy, so I probably didn't. I saw it recently during the day. Full moon. No, but yeah, it was a full Just moon a, during the day. Yeah. It's always a full moon during the day. See it every time. I see the whole thing. Yeah. I see the, all the main parts during the day. All the important parts, you see. It's, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's 240,000 miles from us. At one time, it was 14,000 miles. God, that was probably too much. <laughs> that was like, are you staying the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're like, so when's your place going to be done? Because I thought, you know, you've been here for a while. You're pretty right up on us. When was that? Uh, years ago? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> way four, back then. 4.5 yeah. billion years ago. It's moving 1.48 inches each year away from us. Okay. <laughs> so what's how, the, when does it when does it matter? <laughs> yeah. Uh, in about a, probably another billion years. Oh. Then and then what like, will happen? We have to talk about it then. Well, then <laughs> the, the tides will mess up. And oh yeah. We'll have some problems. Tides. Oh, like you just won't. Like it's just going to be. You got to walk won't a be able to surf. Put your boat out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's it. You're just be in the middle of the sea, just putting your boat out. All right. So, all right. I don't know. Now, uh, some scientists think we've found a second moon. This was discovered in 2016. Um, it was <laughs> this guy calls it Kamaloa, named after Hawaiian. It's a Hawaiian word. <laughs> um, but it's 164 feet across. What's it called? Uh, <laughs> Hawaiian. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Kamo, uh, Kamalala. 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 Well, I'm not saying that. Yeah. If that becomes our main moon, I'm not saying that. I will still, I'll call it Moon Two. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not. He's like, no, nah, but let's do this other crazy thing. You're like, yeah, dude, but that's the main. We have to talk about it so much. Yeah. That yeah. I don't want to. I'll call it Moon Two. Just, Maybe that's why we never gave Earth a name. You're like, we're gonna have to yeah. say this a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like when the Moon Two comes, you're like, you see that one go, then you're like, we're gonna no pay. This is the one we gotta pay attention to now. <laughs> yeah. That one's gone. <laughs> They think it'll drift away from orbit in 300 years and go on its own. The main moon or the second, the second moon? moon. <laughs> We're already losing the second moon? The second moon didn't even give us a chance. I know. Yeah. Most people learn about it right now. Wow. Yeah. You said it was 160 feet? 164 That's feet That's what across. scientists, though, could say. They go, he goes, there's a second moon. You're like, is there? Can you see it? Then he's like, maybe there's not. He goes, I th it's already leaving, though. Uh, <laughs> he just changed it. He goes, it's already, it's about to go. It's going, it already made a turn. I just found it, and it was like already going away. I don't know if you can even see it anymore. You know, you probably can't see it. So he just had a paper to finish. He just did. <laughs> the largest living thing in the world is a fungus in Oregon. Hey. Yes. What is that? Like just grass. It's a. It's uh, a mushroom. 
It's got to be a mushroom. Oh, it is a mushroom. It's a big I, mushroom. I was waiting for Mike to say Portland. Do people <laughs> leave it? Uh, yeah. Do people live on it? On the mushroom? Is it like a big white mushroom? It's, it is a big white. It's on a, like a reserve in Oregon. It's 2,200 acres. So like when you see a mushroom and you walk over it, it would be like, wow, this one's a, a bit yeah, Aaron, can you bigger. pull it up on the screen? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a bit bigger one is what you're saying. Yeah. It's the largest. And they're just leaving it because... Because it's, it's the biggest thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. might as well keep it. Yeah, it's the reason people go there. Oh, they go to see it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think some people. And is then, there a water park there, too? I think <laughs> Nate wants to know yeah. if there's going to be a water park. Is there other stuff to do around this mushroom? I really don't know. Um, I didn't go any further than that, but yeah, it's pretty big. Does it it's have largest, Wi-Fi? Yeah. It's not as fun of an answer. as You know what the largest living thing is? Something like just a mushroom. You're like, oh, all right. <laughs> I would be like, is there something else, though? Yeah. You know, like, is there something we can go see? Pepperoni or maybe some ham. Ham? Yeah. Is there a big ham? <laughs> would you go see the largest pig or the mushroom? Oh, if you yes. had an option, they go, you can go see the largest pig or you can go see the largest mushroom. Are you gonna? I mean, everybody would say pig. Everybody, right. everybody right. would say. You pig. would go. Well, how big's the pig? You yeah. know, the curiosity enough would be like, well, how big's the pig? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I do. This mushroom can even see the other side. I mean, you just go up. Twenty two hundred acres. Yeah. So is it like up? Like you walk up? Like is? Am I gonna be disappointed? I think so. Yeah. Like it, like. <laughs> yeah, because I picture like I picture the the. Thing, the stem that goes up and then it's real big and everybody just walks under just it. one stem in the middle one stem and in then the middle. 2200 acres 2200 right. acres i'm going to that mushroom all day long all day i move near it yeah. that's how much i'd want to see it i would move near it uh -huh. but if it's like no they're all connected you know it's a big explanation you're like all right i don't <laughs> so the largest earthquake ever registered was 9.5 on the scale if we got a 12 or larger it would split the earth in half Wow. Like 12 is earth what would he, Like it just would have to fly longer. Like you have to fly from like Kansas <laughs> to like Iowa. Like you'd be like, no, nah, it's a flight now. So we're down the other yeah. side. Yeah. You got it. Well, like, it's still a flight, I guess. But uh, the fault would be larger than the earth itself. It would just split it in half. So it'd be just bad news. Yeah, it would be very bad yeah. news. Very By bad fault, news. do you mean the blame? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There are more viruses on Earth than there are stars in the skies. Okay. Oh, that's comforting. Yeah. <laughs> so wear your mask. Yeah. <laughs> so Mike's already covered the Earth. I was impressed. It's the crust, the mantle, the core. That's basic Earth science. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Everybody knows that. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody who never took chemistry knows that. Yeah. The core is 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, same as the sun. Wow. Okay. It's hot. It's pretty hot. So yeah. maybe we don't need the sun. Maybe that's the point. What if we find out the sun's not really doing that much and the core is like, I'm the one down here working, dude. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we go, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry that we've, we've been heating your ground up. It would make sense. So if the sun goes away, just poke some holes in the crust. The sun might just be pretty. And we just don't, you know, these scientists don't think about giving the core some respect. <laughs> if you had to well, think we, what's heating it up, this we, is, we try to dig and see how far we could dig. The deepest hole we ever... Who's we? Yeah. Humans. Yeah. <laughs> we, we teamed up. The Cola Super Deep Borehole is what it was called. 7.5 miles down. It took them 20 years to dig it. It finally got so hot they had to stop. Yeah. Got up to 356 Imagine degrees. 20 years. Is that your, your children's children digging that hole? And you just yeah. go, I think that's enough right there. You know, that just ends like that. Come on out, day. guys. <laughs> so what What? What you find out? It gets hot. It gets real yeah. hot. Yeah. That's what we found out. Oh, is that what mm -hmm. you figured? That is what we figured. <laughs> I spent a whole summer digging a hole once. Me and my brothers and sisters, we started, we were like, we're going to dig a hole, see how far we can go. We spent the whole summer out there in our backyard. It got pretty deep. How deep? You stand in it? 10 plus feet deep. Wow. For sure. Wow. Yeah. And with me and my sister and two brothers. Where all you? day out there just digging Did that Did it hole. hurt the resale value of your parents' home? <laughs> 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 Are y'all doing a pool? Kind of. We got one a little bit started. We got the deep end going. <laughs> we might have to do the rest. <laughs> Turns out Where you just can't. Where was it? Just... 
in our backyard. When we bought, when my parents bought the house, the, the, this family, they owned a bunch of chickens. So there's this chicken coop area yeah. in the back that was fenced off from the rest of the backyard. So my parents said, do whatever you want back there. And we just dug this huge hole. Yeah. And we just go sit in it. How would you get? <laughs> See, that's one of the. How would you get up and down? It was at an incline enough where you could kind of climb up and down. Oh, so it was Steep a Steep on one end. Not, I mean, I mean, it was maybe as big as this table. Oh. The area of it. Right. The circumference. Well, how do y'all sit down in there together? We were kids, dude. I mean, it was tight. Yeah. 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 That's well, the disappointing thing about digging a hole. they ask you to go sit first? <laughs> 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 they go, let's go sit and hang out, Aaron. And you just back up to the back of the curb. <laughs> <just> <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are sending their kids to summer camp now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just hand them a shovel and go, dig a hole. Yeah. Do whatever you want. <laughs> dig a <laughs> hole. Have fun with the earth. <laughs> it taught me the value of hard work, though, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's what character development. Yeah, you go to Notre Dame and now do a podcast, you know all about hard work. <laughs> <laughs> As a comedian, uh, you just get, tell me about the grind, you know? I waited tables for six months, dude. <laughs> yeah. I know all about I it. know about hard work. <laughs> <laughs> so this hole that's 7.5 miles deep you, if you were to fall in it it would take you two and a half minutes to hit the bottom depending on terminal to velocity I would think that would be I think it'd go faster than I mean slower than that slower than two and a half that's a long I time to be falling time. yeah I, think, I bet you hit a couple points of going am I gonna make it <laughs> like you're you know you probably think that a few times that you're not gonna make that, like you're not gonna you that know. you're not going to die, and then finally you hit it? He just would, yeah, it's so dark, you would just never know. Well, I don't think, I think you get less confidence as you keep going, not more. No, but I think you go, I think I would hit the bottom by now. No. Oh. So maybe I'm going to come out, you know, in China. You know, maybe I'll <laughs> pop out, and you're like, you're just on a subway in China. And you're like, no, that was, <laughs> I should travel that way. You know? Like, Wasn't this that might work out. This might be this okay. This might work out. <laughs> 40% of the U.S. population lives on either coast. Mike? Co Mike? On the East Coast? On either, either coast. coast. Oh, either, either coast. 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 Yeah. <laughs> the uh, oldest tree in the world is 4,800 years old. Okay. Methuselah. I think that's... Uh, oh, they got a name for it? Yep. What's it called? Methuselah. Where's it at? Uh, I think it's in California. That yeah. sounds like a witch. I don't know how that they... Hey, like yeah. They ain't checking all these trees. <laughs> What's the oldest one they've found so far? Oh. I mean, there might be an older one they haven't found. They won't even tell there you where it's at. There has to be. They, they can't check all these trees. Just go walk around. They There's won't tell you where trees. it's at exactly. Huh? Yeah. They won't tell you where it's at exactly because they don't want you to Because they don't go. know and they're making it up. <laughs> yeah. It's in that area. It's like when you get an Airbnb where it just shows you like, yeah. we don't show you the exact address, yeah. but you're, you're among in that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but a tree, you should like tree. Nate, they're the only thing where we can actually tell how old it is. We're definitively. Yeah. You well, know? So did they kill this tree? You got to count the rings? or is that Yeah, old? they count the rings. I, but I think this is more of an Arbor Day discussion. I don't know if we should yeah. be doing it. <laughs> I think we should probably save it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just looking out for the fans. <laughs> Leave some meat on the bone. Yeah. Anything? You know? Anything Leave something? some meat on the bone. <laughs> I don't know how they tell because no, they didn't kill it. It's still alive. Yeah. But well, th couldn't you cut a cross section of a tree just halfway and then go, I'll double that, and then that doesn't kill the tree? I well, don't know. then you start guessing because well, there's a couple really more rings in there that you don't think about. Like you're like, oh, I didn't see that ring coming. All right, but you can just measure half, cut it halfway, and then that'll be times two. Yeah, science seems like a lot of like half work. Like, it's like, <laughs> probably, yeah, you know. That, that looks you're like, about well, do you want to do any of it? You're yeah. like, I don't want to do the whole thing, but I did mm -hmm. some of it. Mm -hmm. I eyeballed it. <laughs> Felt 400, 480 years old, or whatever it was. So since the Earth Day is this Friday, there's a lot we have to work on, and there's a lot to do. But Who? Who's got to work on you? <laughs> we? Well, you specifically, people? but mankind yeah. I met. Yeah, but, let's all get together and work yeah. on it, yeah. you know. There's a lot that we're doing that's very uh, encouraging and positive, so I thought I'd share some of those. Some oh, stuff well, that's, good. That's going well. <laughs> Electric cars. Uh, there by, you go. By 2040, virtually every new car sold will be electric. Right, yes. right. Someone's excited about that. I'm sure that solves everything. Well, that's just one thing. 
Yeah. But the bad news is 80% of gas stations will be out of business by 2035. <laughs> so we don't mm. so we don't think about them. We don't think about them. We don't think no. about the gas station. But they could they start a new thing. They're going to have yeah. to start something new. They yeah. talked about charging stations, charging but stations. that takes too long. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I spend probably 80% of my money at gas stations. Mm-hmm. What will you do? Well, we got CVSs are closing down. The gas stations will be gone. I don't know where I'm going to go. Yeah, where would you go? That's going to get hard. I have to just go to Kroger all the yeah. time. I still stop at gas stations. Bucky's. That's for directions. You do? You do. <laughs> <laughs> you do what now, Brian? I still stop at gas stations. That's for directions. Yeah. <laughs> Is that not weird? Asked how to get to Zany's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to get home. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you print out like MapQuest directions yes. still. It's in here somewhere. Just in case. <laughs> yeah. I like to have a backup. Yeah. <laughs> uh, vertical farming. That's where the, vertical farming. Vertical farming. Yep. That's where you stack up instead of spread out. Yeah. So then you save on land, you save on water, because 70% of uh, r- fresh water in the world goes toward agriculture. But you can save if you build it in warehouses and stack it straight up. And a lot of places are doing this now, and it's giving you a higher crop yield because there's no pesticides. There's, uh, Why would it need less water? You just you put water at the top one and just let it drip all the way down? Right. Yes, and then or you can recycle it. Yeah. Like you, you catch it, and it comes back around. What would you say? Pour a cup. Oh, <laughs> so you only need like a little water, and it just gets to the bottom, and then you send it back to the top. Okay. All right. All right. That's good. Is there a, an evaporation joke somewhere here yeah. that we're missing? There may be. Uh, the funny of this podcast evaporated. <laughs> <laughs> Where are my water cycle yeah. jokes? <laughs> uh, clean energy. A lot more people are going solar and wind now because the costs are a lot less. So that's saving oh, the planet. That's good. Yeah. Those yeah, but turbines. isn't you know see they, they always talk about wind. You go drive through those wind turbines. There, it looks there's a million of them. Yeah, and they're just murdering birds. By the way, like it's <laughs> un, it's remarkable how many I think birds they just this giant thing that just kills yeah. all the birds. And we're like, yeah, that's something though, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Even in coal states like Ohio, uh, solar power will overtake coal by the end of the decade. So wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. But they can store solar. it now. The big problem was they couldn't store solar power. Yeah, before. was that the big problem, Mike? <laughs> uh, <laughs> was that last time I read Brian was the big the big problem was the they didn't know where to store them. They couldn't <laughs> store it, right? They couldn't store it. Yeah, I think that is right, Mike. They couldn't they go, where do I put it? The garage, the basement. Where do I store it for the winter months? Do I have to climb up there? <laughs> Your house looks ridiculous. <laughs> Your house, solar panel. I'm not saying that it's bad. It's good, you know. But the yeah. idea, I don't. It just your house does look ridiculous. When you see one, you're like, it's a nightmare. That's a, you know, and you just feel like that person thinks they're better than you, and then they just have slow running water and stuff <laughs> like that. It just drips. There's no heat in there. Yeah. They just take cold showers, which Mike is a fan of. Yeah, I love them. Mm. Mike only takes cold showers. Yeah. So you take one a day? When you think, yeah, yeah, cold one. Never he take only, a hot one. Never takes it hot. Uh, and so if you want to know, like, Mike's personality, takes cold showers. <laughs> That's all you got to say. It takes and, cold showers. And why showers. do you do that? Um, part of the solution, you know, we're saving yes, energy. Saving energy. I thought this was Earth Day. You guys are yeah. here for Earth Day, right? <laughs> Been waiting for the Mike's been waiting for this day his whole life. (laughs) Do you eat the whole apple? You feel like you do that too. I feel like a guy who takes cold showers eats the whole apple. Yeah. No, I think no, I think it's opposite. He uh, he would like serial killer. This is what I think with Mike. So (laughs) I think we're talking about two different things. And (laughs) Uh, I honestly don't know if the wind doesn't blow or if the sun's not shining. How it works. Do you yeah, guys know? I don't know how it works either. Yeah. How what? How uh, solar or wind, wind energy works. Nobody knows. <laughs> you just put them up there. How's it gonna work? It's I think the something. sun goes away, we'll have other worries than the solar powered panels. What does it mean like in gloomy days or like if the sun's 
It's you not a full well, You don't get Channel 4 if it's cloudy. <laughs> you go, yeah. you, you yeah. gotta, you know, y'all watch Super Bowl? Too cloudy today, so <laughs> <laughs> we can't. We only get 2, 7, and 19 for some reason. <laughs> Just two, seven. Channel 4.5, Aaron and I are going to be back on there. Oh, right. yeah. Nice. Circle Network. If you got an antenna. Yep. It's on Peacock this year, actually. Oh. You can stream it. Oh. It's a real stream. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. This is big time. Yeah. Streaming services. Uh, tree planting. They found new ways. Deforestation has been destroying forests, but now they're using drones to plant trees. They can do God, up to 400,000 trees this a day. This is why Earth Day is no fun. I thought this was fun. Yeah. Huh? Planting, replanting trees with a drone? That sounds fun. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's been, it's just like, it was like when we talked about the positives, it just went downhill. Yeah. And it, this is what's going to the schools to go, we're trying to plant more trees, we'll use drones. And the people, that, the guy that says that doesn't even know what a drone is. He goes, oh, that's cool. Because, yeah, right? I looked up DuPont plant, see what they're doing. Well, it's gone. It is? Yeah. Oh, no wonder I couldn't find it. So. Oh, yeah. No, DuPont, <laughs> DuPont plant's gone. I think they're worried about... Uh, Radiation or something. Mm. Yeah, they did a lot of stuff over there. Uh, it's us in Old Hickory. We got a little extra kick to us. You know what I mean? Like, I guess some of us can breathe underwater. <laughs> uh, synthetic meat. They're now creating meat in a lab. Yeah, yeah. that sounds good. So, it's, <laughs> so it's not real. Is it real? They use uh, some cells of real meat and they can... Mm. This Bio is engineer. not going to be good. Yeah. It's not It is fish. Yeah, we are. Yeah. That's not going to be good at all. Like, it's just getting to where you're like, no, the, you know, they make it and then you buy it from. You're like, what are they putting in it? You're like, it doesn't matter. You know? Yeah. They decide every. I don't like any of this. But the reason that's important, again, it's the farts. Cows do a lot of farts and it destroys the environment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we make the cows' uh, food be better? You know? Get them better stuff so they don't have gas as much. Well, people have suggested that. Environmentalists. Oh, they you're, have. You're some environmentalists. Have some, what do we do to better food? What if we get some leafy greens out there for them? <laughs> well, I think that's the problem. I think that's high in fiber. So, uh, so we can go opposite. Do more of a low-carb thing. Maybe Mike, <laughs> Mike, could you talk to them? Get them on paleo. Get them on paleo. <laughs> the uh, hottest country in the world? Libya? No. Uh, I thought we were... The hottest country. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. I mean, with the Kardashians and all that. Yeah. <laughs> we do have the Kardashians, so that's better than Libya. Libya. Mm. Libya, Libya is the hottest yep. country in the world. Yep. Wow. They get 130 degrees. Oh, it does? Oh, my God. Not yeah. every day, but they but have. Some days. Some days it does. Some days. Does yep. it get cold there? Yeah. Not very cold. You know, at I all? I have no idea. <laughs> so it could get crazy, yeah. I have, I have no Where idea. Where is Libya? Libya? Middle Africa. East. Africa. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yep. Something I get. Yeah. It's in there. Uh, Greenland is the lowest population of any country on Earth. Okay. 55,000 people. Oof. All right. 50, <laughs> yeah. That's a small we town. That's a small town. Really trailed off here. We don't count, uh, we don't count Antarctica? Uh, that's a continent. Yeah. So Australia is a country and a continent. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Why is it both? I don't know. Why didn't they mix it up at all? <laughs> I don't know. Well, they're like, well, you're clearly country. You have a, you know, a single government. Yeah. But you're kind of on your own out there. Yeah. Yeah. And they want to be lumped in with New Zealand. Oh, right. yeah. But the New Zealand's right there. Big rivalry. It's <laughs> big a big rivalry. no-no to call yeah. somebody from Australia a New Zealander <laughs> and yeah. vice versa. They okay. hate each other. They don't like each other. No. All right. All right. <laughs> so I'll end on McDonald's? Yeah, we're about to end on, yeah, send on something. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> people hear it now. You know, it's, it's bad enough when people are just listening. Now they're looking at us. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> I think they're enjoying it. Yeah. All right. So McDonald's is uh, doing their part to save the environment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think everything you just say, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. That's yeah. like when you give money to them. Like they're like, well, you give money to whatever, and you're like, they guilt you into it. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I started saying no. <laughs> to what? I go, no, and then I tell the 6 year old I go, where's this money even going? They're mm -hmm. like, 
I just, I'm 16, this is like a job I have. <laughs> <laughs> just to like for gas money and stuff. I'm like, where's the money going? Is it really going to go to these people? Or is it going to Petco? I don't know. Whatever. That happened to you, didn't it, Aaron? The kid hit you up on Broadway. It was a membership for life. Oh, yeah. Dude, I, I struggle so hard with saying no to people. Mm-hmm. that I sat and talked to this dude for like an hour. He would not shut up. I'd, just get, I'd go, just take my credit card. And I'm still you paying. You got a credit card on the street? <laughs> he was a nice kid. It was something about like saving women and other countries. <laughs> <laughs> he, was like, he showed me pictures that looked bad. And so, <laughs> and he kept going, it would really, he was like a young kid. He goes, it really helped me. Like, man, you're the first person to talk to me. You're so nice. Yeah, there's, so, this is all the sign. You're the first person to talk to me. And he wants your credit card on the street. <laughs> I'm, let's he had that. an iPad with like legit software, and I go, "Can I just make a one-time payment, just yeah. so I can get out of here?" Yeah. And he goes, "You have to sign up no. for a monthly thing." Mm-mm. Yeah. And I go, "Can you just swipe it? Just I'll just Venmo you, and then you." He was like, "You got to give me your." I just gave him my card, and I forgot to cancel it. This is two years ago. I've been paying. Yeah. <laughs> You're starting to see how the Planet Fitness thing happened. Yeah. I, I just overlook it. Have you asked the progress? You know. How are these women doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I haven't checked in with the organization. I think it's still bad a lot of places. But I think you should see and go, I just want to know what I'm paying for. You do know? they do they know your stance on the Pope? <laughs> no, probably, maybe not. Uh, yeah, it's not my stance either. It's not, you know, it's just the are way like, things Since are. Aaron's donation, we, we've allowed women inside. <laughs> and Aaron was a big part of that, giving us $1 a month. For the past two years. That's the thing. It's 30 bucks a month. Like, it's not... That's it's a like, lot! God, it's adding up. Why? That was the minimum amount. Wow. So I go, I'll sign up for... And I'll do one month, and then I'll cancel it. And this guy, I'll be long gone from this guy. Yeah. He'll never see oh me ever God. again. For that much money, you could marry a live woman. <laughs> yeah. right? That's... Did he take his mask off, and he was a woman underneath? <laughs> <laughs> you paying for that? Are you still paying for this? Yes. I had oh. forgot about it. I had forgotten Listen, we until... We got a new Planet Fitness. Yeah. <laughs> and this one's going to be harder to cancel. It will be it harder to cancel, for sure. We're going to make you do it to a woman's face. <laughs> you're going to walk up to that woman and take $30 from her. I forgot. Thank you for and reminding you're gonna me. you're going to go steal Brian. $30 a month from one woman until you get even. <laughs> Just for any woman, you go take... You got thirty dollars on you? She's like, I got forty. I need thirty. Yeah. I just remember because you had a huge gig at Bridgestone Arena. It was like one of the best shows you ever had. And then you got hit up for this kid, and you've been paying the rest of your life. Yeah, right? I was leaving that feeling good, and then the I, pred- I was the Predators. Thing. It was a gig That's for right. the Predators yes. in Bridgestone. Yep. I was on the jumbotron. I felt good, so I was vulnerable. Big day, big day. Yeah, because I was riding a high, and then they cornered me. And then I remember it was it was started to rain. Was it nighttime? <laughs> it's broad daylight. Oh. And it started to rain. And then they uh so that made me be like, all right, well, let's yeah. just let me just I'll just give you the card because I want to get out of the rain. Right. But not to help women. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. <laughs> Where is this money going to? It's going to help women. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I think that's it. That's it? All right. <laughs> well, guys, as always, we love you guys so much. Thank you so much Can for I coming promote out. a show? Uh, Can I promote a show? Uh, you got a show? June 22nd, I'll be headlining Zanies right here. Yeah. Hey. Aaron is on it. Nate's going to do a guest set. Uh, if, no, he's not. But... If I'm here, I will. I'll do it if I'm here. <laughs> well, thank you. You don't have to, but I'm just going to tell people that. Well, I mean, we can talk about it afterwards. Yeah. You know, you can, well, I'd like you to commit to it right now in front of everybody. And, well, I just want to say uh, thank you for letting me on. I know these guys are your guys, and I'm a guest. So thank you guys for being so kind and supportive to me. Thank you. I love the Nate Land people. There you thank go, you. Mike. Mike's special tomorrow. If you want to go, buy tickets. we got two shows tomorrow. So, all right. That's it. you have something, Aaron? Nah. All right. Uh, uh, give money to women, everybody. <laughs> women.com. Have you met their new? It just goes to women, just in general. We're just, they need help. I'll say a sentimental thing. 
I just I was just struck by it. It's very you know we record this in a in a room with just the camera crew and us, and it blows my mind that enough people listen yeah. to it and care about it. it very cool crazy. to see real faces. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, it's very awesome. None of this is lost on us, as we say. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much, and we will see you next week. Thank you. Nate Land is produced by Nate Land Productions and by me, Nate Bargetzi, and my wife, Laura, on the All Things Comedy Network. Recording and editing for the show is done by Genovations Media. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to catch us next week on the Nate Land Podcast.